I'm here off of Paseo del Norte in Kimmich, and this is really where a lot of that backup starts to happen because this is the point on Paseo del Norte when the lanes go from four lanes to just two. And take a look at this. In just the last 30 minutes, we've got to witness this problem firsthand. A lot of these cars moving very slowly, some of them even at a standstill, and it's this bumper to bumper situation that's very frustrating for drivers. It's very frustrating, you know, to be sitting there looking at brake lights, three lanes wide. Nothing you can do, nowhere you can go. Every morning and every evening, Matthew Brown spends an extra 20 to 25 minutes stuck in traffic on Paseo del Norte. People are angry. It's, I mean, you can you can see the frustration on everyone that's driving, you know, during that time. The frustration is coming from the single traffic lanes, which is why the District 5 City Councilor is introducing a bill to make more traffic lanes, expanding from two to four. So it's really uh, causing a lot of congestion in the in the morning and in the afternoon when people are going to work and coming from work. It's also causing a safety hazard for um, our uh, public safety vehicles. If approved, the expansion on Paseo del Norte would go from Kimmich Drive to Rainbow Boulevard, as well as expand from under by four lanes. The bill will be presented at Monday night city council meeting. It is very much needed, and it's not just to help people with their commute home. It's also to encourage some commercial development. A study found that this intersection off of Paseo del Norte and under sees only 24,000 cars per day, while other intersections nearby see over 200,000. People like Brown say the Paseo del Norte expansion is long overdue. I think anything that we can do to continue to move forward to ease the burden of just getting home to see our families, you know, would be welcomed by myself and every other resident here of the Northwest and Rio Rancho. And City Council is expected to vote on this in just the next few hours. This project will cost about $18 million. And if it's approved, it's actually going to take about two to three years before we see any of these extra lanes. Reporting live from Northwest Albuquerque, Marissa Armas, KOAT Action 7 News.